What's up, YouTube? I just decided to record today. Um, I just made me a nice, good and raw meal. Well, everything is raw except the uh, chickpeas. And um, it's Monday, I'm off. I feel great. Um, I got a couple nails missing. I'm not worried about getting my nails done. I'm gonna get these taken off and transition to natural nails kind of nervous about that but that's irrelevant right now um yeah i was like let me go ahead and record and just give an update about my life while i get down on this lovely raw meal and i know it's about to get messy and all that good stuff but it's gonna give me life so i got I made this yesterday. I already posted a picture on my Finding Alkaline page and my Facebook page and stuff. But it got romaine lettuce, chickpeas, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, avocado, and then it's topped with extra virgin olive oil. Um, and it's, that's infused with different herbs. And then um, I squeezed key lime juice on it. Season it with sea salt, cayenne pepper, onion powder, basil, and oregano. Then I have walnuts on top. And then I got some more over here in the corner just in case. Um, and this bowl is definitely not big enough. So I had to put a plate up under it. Ooh. I was afraid that was going to happen. So, yeah. It's about to get really messy, but um, right now, just an update like where I'm at right now in my life. I am trying to, well, I'm first of all trying to stick with my alkaline journey because. I ain't got a little dog off. Well, I don't think I got dog off. Every now and then, I would do some vegan food. So, it's been some good up and coming um, vegan chefs around here in Dallas. So, every now and then, I do like to dabble in, in some vegan food. So, when I go to the uh, farmer's market and I get some Caribbean food. So, I try to keep it vegan. I try to do more whole food versus plant-based foods. Um, all these herbs in here got me thinking it's a bug or something here. One thing about them, when I eat. It's like I can notice every little detail. I ain't got no earrings or nothing now. Like I'm real deal in relaxation mode. Um, I start off the day. Um, get me did my workout in. So that was cool. Shout out to Beat Bodies in the solo. Shout out to, to, to Shell. Then after that, I went and um I went and registered a new business. So I'm not gonna be stingy about My little business venture. But, so, I basically been, if y'all don't know, I never did post it on here, but last year I did get a, a Beamer a, a X2. So, I was really happy and grateful that I did get it. Um, I 
Definitely was a blast now. Definitely feel good to drive it. But I've been doing a lot of unbecoming. And this is like since last year for sure. Like especially around that last year this time. So just unbecoming of a lot of stuff and I just been trying to detach myself from material things. Mm. In a way. So fast forward to now. I do a lot of studying with my financial uh, fin finances and stuff. I, I educate myself on finances a lot. Always watching videos watching my favorite um right now is robert kiyosaki and um, and basically he talked a lot about like capitalism um you know getting rid of your liabilities noticing what your liabilities is and uh, what your real assets is and um you know uh working on your credit and how it, you can have good debt and bad debt. Um, learning how the rich basically never, almost never use their own money to invest. Um, and the benefits of that. Um, so basically... On this road, on this road of elevation, um, what I have done is been working on getting rid of my liabilities. So my Beamer is a liability right now. Um, it's not make well. It was a liability. I will say that. Um, so now I'm renting my car out on Turo. If you don't know what, if you don't know what Turo is, it's basically a platform that is like an Airbnb for cars where you can rent your car out to different people and you know they orchestrate the deal um and all of that good stuff um um so if you got a car that's in really good shape that you think somebody want to drive it don't necessarily have to be a foreign car, but it definitely have to be in good shape, no maintenance issues, everything up to par. Then rent your car out. Whether it's a liability or not, especially if you got more than one car. Um well, really only do it if you got more than one car or if you don't really go to many places in your car. For me, I started off just trying it out on the app. And, you know, I was thinking, oh, I only work like 10 minutes away. So I can Uber, whatever, when it's rented out. But yeah, I got a reality check quick on that. Cause it be just your look when you don't got your car. That's when you got to go everywhere. And then, and then me, I don't just go from house to work. I go work out 45 minutes away. Um, 
sell and deliver herbs. I be having shit to do. So that didn't take long before it was time for me to just go ahead and um give me another vehicle. So I ended up coming across another beamer. It's a um five series. 2008. My S2 is a 2018. So, I just bought the other car cash. And I was like, that's where I'll, you know, I'll just drive that while, when my other car is, um, you know, occupied. And honestly, it's been doing really, really good on Turo. Um, I'm like almost two months in, so it definitely has been a shift from being a liability to almost an asset. Well, I guess you would say an asset because according to Robert Kid Wasaki, if you're profiting at least one dollar from it, that's yours, like you're profiting from it. So and that's when it becomes an asset. So, I guess you can say, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll just see how that go in the future. So that's one thing I've been doing. Um, I'm also getting ready to, well, I have not told you guys, but I have uh, essential oil blend line called the oil plug so i have different um roller bottle blends um it's the oil plug i'm still in the branding process so i'll be getting new labels soon but this is my immune bomb this is something great to keep handy like um to protect your immune system and um, especially with the Rona going around, you want to keep this handy. Anytime I feel like I'm going around a lot of people or something, like that thing back of my neck, I mean, back of my ears, back of my neck, bridge your nose, just inhale out the bottle. If my throat feeling like anything, I'll rub it on my neck. So there's a lot that you can do with it. So I have different roller bottle blends. I have one that's a natural antiseptic, one for calming. And I'm constantly creating um, different blends. Um, along with that, I also sell the herbs, uh, sea moss gel, elderberry syrup, different herb blends for, you know, whatever you're trying to, you know, do for your body. I really have to do more in that area in the future. So, y'all know I'll be making my alkaline foods. I also um, do the alkaline sweet treats. So, at least to say I got a lot going on. I just started getting back in the studio. So, I've been... I've been, I ain't gonna say just, but I've been recording for like the past three or four months. So that's been cool. Like building up my catalog and just practicing my art and elevating with that. Um, the salon is really good. I've just been, um, Trying to keep a balance, so these past couple months, I've only been working three days out of a week, sometimes four, and oh my gosh, it's been wonderful. I've been catching up on my rest and catching up on my other business adventures and just chilling and having fun, like enjoying the fruits of my labor, so that's been cool. Um... Yeah. Um. 
And the last but most important thing I'm trying to do right now, that I'm really, 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 really focused on, is... gonna give me an RV and I'm gonna live in it full time <laughs> I'm so freaking excited but of course a lot of people uh, don't understand that you know a lot of people in my life um but I guess it's not for anyone to understand I, I I'm like full-fledged like going hard and truly going after that happiness that I see as happy and not what other people see as happy or whatever. Um, so yeah. My main thing right now is trying to manifest the perfect RV for me. Um, I went to go look at an RV on Saturday. Now, mind you, this RV market is crazy. So many people are trying to get RVs now. And so every time, every time I find an RV that's like within a budget, I was trying to find something in a really low price range. And then I was thinking to get it. And then I was going to like gut it out and redo it, you know, from the Rudy to the Tootie. But my main thing is I want that maintenance to be right on point because I may just be solo dolo and, you know, I know I, after reading and um, seeing what a lot of people that have RVs, what they say about RVs, like you're going to have issues in your RV. So I don't want to have to have harder issues than what i'm naturally going to have um so i definitely want something that's gonna be good as far as dri driving and traveling um i do plan to just really go cross country explore um check out the different landscapes here in the united states Check out the different hidden gems. Like, I'm a nature girl. But I haven't really just truly explored nature like I know I could have. So, that's really what I want to do. And I also want to... I just don't want to be bound to one place. So, I would like to go out to um, L.A. And go and rub a few shoulders with the right people. Um go to some auditions, you know, see if I can do some uh, music shows out there. And also, like, deal with my herbs and stuff out there, too, because I know they're really big on um, veganism and holistic health. And then another place I would like to go and do that same thing is Atlanta. Um, that's a really good place for uh, black music artists, you know, as long as you rub your shoulders with the right people and staying focused. Um, I just like the fact that it's a lot, a lot of black entrepreneurs out there. A lot of black successful people out there. So, I really would like to be closer to my people. Especially during this time. Um, yeah. Um... So, yeah, I want to be able to go to the beach whenever I want to. Like, even if it's going to take me a week to get there. Go to the beach and uh, relax. Suck it all in. You know, just be free. Like, don't have a necessarily plan, but... Be free and and have faith that everything is gonna be all right. Have faith that money is gonna flow to me. Um, that I attract all abundance and to know that 
there's something that I can learn or take from wherever I go to, so. I'm really, that's like what I'm really, really focused on right now, like for real, for real. Cause my lease is up in December. Well, January 1st, basically. And, um, it is now the middle of November. And, um, I want to make sure I get my RV and be able to go ahead and do some painting and make it how I want it to be before I start moving my things in. And, and yeah, so I definitely need to get that going as soon as possible. So, yeah, I'm just like imagining a really lit life with my RV, so... Who knows? I may be leaving the salon again. But I feel like the hair artistry, like it's an art. So I feel like once you're an artist, you're always an artist. Even if you transition into something else or whatever or another space or whatever. You can always come back to that space. And, um, so, if I do decide to leave, it's gonna be sad, I ain't gonna lie. It's really my clients that's like keeping me there, like my attachment. Really, my clients and my hair business is what's keeping me in Dallas right now. Um, and my lease. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been here for ten years, so. Um. I'm ready. I feel like I came here and I, I succeeded. Um, I didn't fail. Like I pushed through. I pushed through all the obstacles that I've had to face out here. Like just with that move. Like I thought, I thought it was just gonna be a smooth move. I knew it was gonna be, you know, a challenge, but. The stuff that came my way, God, dog, I wasn't expecting all this. So, I feel like I overcame all those hurdles and I didn't let it stop me or or um, cause me to go backwards or even if I did go backwards, I still came to re realization and it just boosted me to go even further. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I've pretty much accomplished what I needed to do. I, I did what I needed to do to get to where I'm at right now. And it's a beautiful space, a beautiful space. So I'm ready to explore and just be free and not bound to anything and truly get a taste of what I imagine, you know, that true happiness to be. Mm hmm Oh yeah. And other news, this meal is so good, y'all. Let me tell y'all about this alkaline food. Like, like when I take a bite out of this meal, it's so freaking refreshing. It's it's almost the next thing to drinking water. Like. I don't know if this, the blood flow is something that's going through my body, but it's like, it's awakening, something is awakening my 
I guess my cells, I guess that's my cells awakening. I don't know, but like, it's definitely giving me life. I know that once I finish this meal, it's not gonna make me sleepy. Um, it's filling, like the chick chickpeas give it filling, the avocado give it a little filling, that's healthy fats. Um, Um, hey man, you if you looking to get that glow, like you looking to get out of a rut or whatever, uh, whether it's mentally, physically, or whatever, I say first start with your mental and and make a decision that that's really what you want to do that you choose life not death that you choose um elevation versus stagnation um just make that point in your mind that no matter what whether i gotta change my surroundings change my thoughts like be open to um you know greater be open to greater be open to change for the greater for the better um it, it all starts with the mental first then secondly i would say start being conscious about what you put in your body and that can go hand in hand um once you determine that you want better start making because know that your body is an electric being your body needs life not death um <clears throat> so we gotta stop, we gotta shift the outlook on food and not look at it like something that's good to you. Look at, try to strive more for something that's good for you. Because if you don't see by now, like I'm 31 and I, I'm seeing it with my body. Like everything that I've ate in the past whether it hit me right then, like years down the line, that shit is going to hit you. Everything you eat, everything you con uh, consume as far as like uh, watching TV, like uh, your surroundings, every thought that you have, like your emotions, even if you, um, every, every person that you decide to have intercourse with, all of that shit like especially if it was toxic if it wasn't good for you that shit is gonna build up and it's going to affect you eventually you know you may not see it early on but it will affect you eventually and that's why a lot of older people a lot of our older people in our family are dealing with some of the same stuff like and then like even with cancer but you hear cancer with our ages then high blood pressure um um diabetes and the list go on the list goes on and on um fibroids um uh, I, I mean just a lot of stuff that we that's so common all of that was created from the shit that all the toxic shit that you done put in your body over years and years and years and it's steady constantly like damaging that little piece damaging 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 to and you don't realize it because it's your body still functioning and doing what it's supposed to do you don't realize it to that day that that body part is just like i'm up and tired and so at some point, we got to start being conscious about what we put in our body and what, what, and just choosing life. But as I was saying, if you want to get out of a rut, change your mind mentally, start being more conscious about what you put in your body, put more life into your body, put more living things in your body, like plants, living things, things that god put on this earth for us to eat not for us to kill and eat 
for us to eat. Like he gave us light. Well, she gave us. He, she, God, the universe gave us life to eat right here on on the grounds, on the trees. Um, uh, try to eat more of that stuff and quit thinking like, uh, -uh I, I can never do that. I can never do that. I like this too much. It ain't about that. Do your body want that though? Or you want to continue to damage the, the one temple that you have to only to satisfy your your cravings or, or what you think that your body wants? But y'all, um, that's number two thing. Number three thing is um, detoxing. Not only with your body, because you definitely want to do that too. Um, but detox with the people around you. Notice who bringing that good energy and who bringing that bad energy. Whether it's the closest ones to you, the ones you love so dearly. Like, even if you keep them around, know when to protect your energy and know, like, try, like, don't be sitting and talking on the phone with them all day or don't be sitting around with them all day if they bring in this energy. Try to move around. Try to hopefully motivate them to, you know, do better or something like that. Um, or, you know, every now and then, don't answer the phone. Um, put your phone on Do Not Disturb or something like that. And just try to be proactive and 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 find, <clears throat> a, well, I ain't even going to say find, but attract those people that, that's, that want greater like you, that's trying to get out of that same space like you or one that's already in that space, you know, somebody that's going to help you to elevate. Um, so you definitely want to detox. So what I say, get your mental, change your eating, be conscious about what you put in your body, detox. Um, and then study. That studying is so, 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 freaking important. Because there's so much knowledge out there. And yeah, it's people that can tell you what they learned and stuff like that. But a lot of times, you're not going to soak it in or you're not going to know um, the real until you study yourself. And two, it makes you more conscious about your decision. Like, study, study, study constantly. Like, instead of entertaining yourself with negative drama or negative news um or gossiping or even like uh like if you have habits like playing a game too long or watching tv for too long switch it up and um every now and then just snap out of it tell yourself let me get up off of this like if you catch yourself binge watching TV, especially if, okay, you binge watch one show, then you back though and being binge watch another one. At this point, you need to go back to the drawing board and like, okay, unless you really just didn't work hard as all get out and you really at a space that you want to be, like you really, really there, like you really, really there financially, mentally, physically. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pick up your shoes and study. Pick up a book. Go on YouTube. They got audio books on YouTube. They got plenty of knowledge on YouTube. Um, study some shit. Anything that you're curious about, anything that you questioning, or anything that you don't fully understand. Go deeper. And that's really going to get you out of your rut. For one, because 
if you sitting there letting media control you let social media control you let your thoughts take over you're not in control you're letting all this stuff control you so take control control your day control your emotions you feeling negative go listen to some positive affirmations like don't like we're gonna get into a rut but don't stay there like you're gonna get into a dark place you're gonna have negative thoughts but don't stay there don't claim that don't claim none of that shit snap out of that even if you gotta slap yourself yeah man y'all i just want to give y'all an update of my life and um uh, inspire and i just don't want you to watch any i don't want you to I don't want to keep you sitting here looking at me and I ain't got nothing to offer you. I, I didn't help you grow in any kind of way. So I just pray that my works never, ever go in vain. And I just pray that I continue to inspire as I grow. And um, I pray that you can do the same and pass it on pass it on and pass it on stay positive in this crazy world 2020 is crazy and um just keep elevating sis keep elevating bro like you got this and that's that's just that's that's the video right there i'm almost through with my meal i hope i didn't irritate you with my smacking make sure y'all subscribe to my youtube um and ask some questions you know come in in, in on, on my video you know ask questions you got all the questions i got all the answers i love y'all for real see you on the next video ah. <laughs>